Okay, when it comes to practical mathematics, there's probably nothing more important than your understanding of percent. And uh, I'm going to tell you right now, I believe that most people do not understand percent as well as they should. Now, uh, I got a little pop quiz question here for you. Of course, you can see that in, uh, right here. I'll explain that in just one second. But let me make the case about understanding percent. Well, now, oftentimes when we learn mathematics, especially things like algebra and geometry, we, uh, you know, will wonder, hey, will we ever use this outside of school uh, in quote unquote real life? Well, we don't have that problem when it comes to percent. We literally see this symbol all day long. I mean, if you go to the store, you see sales and discounts. There's the percent symbol. If you're watching TV, you see commercials. They're talking about interest rates, credit card rates or the news that talk about inflation, and all that stuff is expressed with this symbol, this percent symbol. So the more you understand per about percent, the better off you're going to be in quote unquote uh, real life. Now, here is my little question for you. I'd like you to express 300% as a fraction. So that's question number one. My second question to you is what is your definition of percent? Now don't go and look this up and give me like a technical definition. Just intuitively, how would you, if you had to kind of uh, think about uh, your understanding of percent, what is percent? Okay, what's the definition of percent? Put that, uh, put your answer for this question and your definition in your own words, uh, uh, the definition for percent into the comment section. I'll show you the answer to this uh, question here in just one second. And then of course, I will explain a uh, nice, simple understanding uh, uh, definition, if you will, for percent. And um, this is going to help us answer this particular question as well. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And it really is my true passion to try to make learning math as easy as possible. So if you need assistance in mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so here again is our question, but it's a very specific question. I want you to express 300% as a fraction. Okay, I'll underline the word fraction. Let's go to take a look at the right answer. The correct answer is three over one. Okay, now this is a fraction. There is a numerator and denominator, but if you gave me, uh, if you put three um, as your answer, I would accept both of these answers. This is my preferred answer, but three is fine. Remember, you can uh, express anything as a fraction or think of it uh, explicitly as a fraction by putting it over one. So for example, if we have the number five. I'm like, okay, I want to think of this as a fraction. Just put it over one. Five divided by one, of course, is five. But now here we have a numerator and denominator. But again, if you put three, uh, that is correct as well. So if you got both of these answers or one of these answers, uh, let's go ahead and celebrate by giving you a nice little happy face and A plus, A 100% and multiple stars. So you can brag to your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in percent. Well, we'll see about your certification in percent because percent is a pretty big topic. But if you're able to do this prompt, that certainly tells me that you have a pretty solid understanding. Now, if you don't understand what's going on, don't despair. In a couple minutes here, you'll be, uh, you know, um, an expert in this, all right? So again, we're not going to get into various uh, types of percent prompts. We're just going to strictly take a look at this prompt here. Okay, so the question is, we want to express 300% as a fraction. Now, having the definition of uh, percent is going to be very useful here uh, to answer this question. But let's go ahead and just take a look at some uh, intuitive things here. So here is a cup and it is half full of water, right? So it's 50% full. So what is a fraction that could express this situation? Okay. So if the cup is 50% full, uh, what is a fraction that would express the same thing? Now, most people are going to say, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's easy. It's one half full. Well, that's absolutely correct, right? So the cup is one half full, 
And so uh, that is the same as 50%, okay? So what is the definition of percent? Well, percent uh, is when we compare a number to 100, okay? So 50% is when we compare 50 to 100. So comparing any number to 100 is a percent, okay? So 50 over 100 is, of course, we can reduce this fraction. That's the same thing as the fraction one half. Now, let's just kind of take a look at this. Some of you might be thinking about uh, uh, writing percents as decimals. So what is 50% as a decimal? Okay, that's another little kind of impromptu um, uh, pop quiz here. So hopefully you said that's 0.5, right? Or 5 tenths. 5 tenths here is the same thing as 1 half. I mean, we're all, you know, it's all making sense here. So how do we write a percent as a decimal? Uh, we basically just divide it by 100. And of course, that is the definition of percent. So when we take a percent and divide by 100, we can express a uh, express that percentage as a fraction. Okay? That's the definition of percent. Again, it's comparing a number to 100. Okay, But in this case here, if we divide 50% by 100, we'll get 0.5. That's the same thing when you divide anything by 100, 50% is the same thing as 50.0%. So we're just moving the decimal point over two places to the left, which of course is 0.5. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at a few more examples here, um, just to kind of make sure you have this basic concept down, and then we'll answer the question. But uh, before we do that, I would just love for you to hit that subscribe button and that notification bell. If you are currently a subscriber, I thank you, thank you so much. I literally look at every person that watches my videos, whether they're uh, subscribers or not, as my students, my math students. And my passion, again, is to try to make this stuff understandable. So many people struggle in mathematics, and it's unfortunate because uh, they really uh, don't have to be. You don't have to struggle. If, you have, if you're having difficulties in math, the first thing you need is clear and understandable instruction. Okay, I try to teach math in a non-textbook kind of way, in a language that's easy to understand without watering down what you need to know. And on my channel, you'll find videos from basic math to advanced math and calculus and everything in between. And I'm pretty much posting daily. Okay, so if you hit that notification button, uh, you know, you'll get my latest videos, but uh, subscribing really, really does help me. So if you could do that, that is fantastic. Now back to uh, more percent examples. Okay, so here we go. So here is our cup and now we have this thing 25% full. So tell me the fraction that would relate this situation. Okay, now some of you are going to say, oh, this is easy. It's one fourth full. And again, you would be right. But let's kind of do this uh, in a way where we're using the definition of percent. So again, percent is when we compare a number to 100. So we're going to take this 25% and compare it to 100. So 25 over 100, we, we can reduce this fraction down to 1 fourth. And of course, this is equivalent to the decimal 0.25. Okay. So remember, anytime you have percent, a percent, you can express that percent as a fraction, uh, and of course that fraction could be expressed as a decimal, and the decimal can be expressed as a fraction, and vice versa, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so hopefully this is making sense. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another example. What happens if my cup is 100% full? What would be the fraction here? Now some of you might be like, all right, I got this, but you might be like, hmm, now I'm not quite sure. Uh, what is a fraction? Of course, one half or one fourth or three fourths, that's pretty easy. But now this cup is in, uh, entirely full. What is the fraction? Well, let's just use the definition, right? So that is, we're going to compare this number, 100, to 100. Okay, 100 over 100 is 1. Okay, so this is 1. It's completely full. Now, you could say, well, is it 1 over 1? Yes, that's fine. But this is the main idea. So, uh, you know, typically when it comes to percent, expressing percent under uh, under 100 uh, percent, percentage is under 100 percent, excuse me, like 75 percent. You know, it's pretty easy to think about. But as soon as we hit 100 percent, some students get confused. And of course, when we go over 100 percent, it can get a little bit more confusing. 
especially if you don't understand the basic definition of percent. So finally, let's go ahead and answer the question. 300% is what fraction? Well, let's go ahead and express 300% by using the definition of percent. We're going to compare it to 100. We're going to compare 300 to 100. In other words, we're going to create a fraction where 100 is the denominator. So 300 of 100, pretty easy stuff. We could just cross cancel these zeros and we're left with three over one. Again, if you put three, I would give you a check mark and a nice little happy face for doing this problem correct. Okay, so again, there is a lot more you need to understand about percent, but it's a good idea to start with, uh, you know, things like the basic definition of percent, and that's kind of what I'm highlighting here. I think a lot of people, when they learn mathematics, they kind of blow through the basics. They're like, okay, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, this is easy stuff. I get that, I get that, I get that, and they want to move on to more interesting things. The problem is when you skip over, you just go real quick through the basics because you think it's just it's just too easy. I know that, I know that. Really, you're doing yourself a disservice. What you want to do, okay, is really strengthen your foundations, and then you can kind of build upon it, or, uh, build more skills upon that, okay? I, I've been doing this for many, 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 many years, and I've seen all the kind of mistakes. I've made the mistakes, and I've seen, you know, thousands of students make these kind of errors in terms of learning math, okay? So if you want to get better at math, start with the fundamentals. Now, if you want to know more about percent, a couple of suggestions here. Uh, one, I have a ton of additional uh, proms uh, about percent on my YouTube channel. But uh, two courses I would recommend. Now, you'll find links to those in my uh, in the description. One is my Math Foundations course. That's a little mini uh, kind of boot camp basic math course. Uh, percent, fractions, decimals, all that kind of good stuff is included in that course. So for those of you that are kind of getting back into math, that would be my recommend course uh, for you. But uh, for some of you out there, uh, maybe you're at the pre-algebra or algebra one level, I teach percent uh in uh, those courses as well. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.